One important skill that you need to know how to do when you're dealing with radicals is you need to learn how to rationalize a denominator. In order to rationalize a denominator, you're going to make sure that there is no radical in the denominator of your fraction. In order to do this, we're going to square whatever is in our denominator. So our denominator at this case is root 5. To get rid of it, we're going to multiply it by another root 5. And whatever we do to the top, or bottom, we have to do to the top as well, because then it's like we're multiplying by 1. So when I multiply, I've got the square root of 2 times the square root of 5. It's going to give me the square root of 10. On the bottom, the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is going to give me the square root of 25. So my new answer is root five, 10 over 5, and it's just an equivalent form of root 2 over root 5, but this one doesn't have a radical in our denominator, so mathematically it's a little bit easier to work with. Another example is if I've got a binomial in my numerator. So again, I want to get rid of the root 5. I'm going to multiply it by root 5. Whatever I do to the bottom, I need to do the same thing to the top. So I've got brackets here. I'm going to multiply this in. And everything I have in my brackets needs to be multiplied by my root 5. So 4 root 5 times root 5 is going to give me 4 root 25. And negative 2 times root 5 is going to give me negative 2 root 5. On the bottom, again, I've got root 5 times root 5, which is root 25, similarly to the last example. I know that the square root of 25 is in fact 5, so both of these root 25's are going to reduce to 5. 4 times 5 is going to give me 20. The negative 2 root 5 is already in lowest terms, and the square root of 25 is 5. Now the last step is I need to check and see if I can simplify, and what I'm looking for is a number that can be divided out of all three of my coefficients here, or all three of my numbers. So 25 and 2, there's nothing that can go into all three of those, so I'm done in this question. It is in lowest terms, and 20 minus 2 root 5 divided by 5 is an equivalent expression to 4 root 5 minus 2 over root 5, but we have eliminated the square root. If I have a binomial in my denominator, it makes it a little more challenging. In order to get, a binomial, get rid of a binomial denominator, we need to remember our differences of squares. So root 5 plus root 2, to eliminate the radical, we are going to multiply it by root 5 minus root 2. It's similar to the other half of the difference of squares, and we call this part the conjugate. Whatever I do to the bottom, I also have to do to the top. So I'm going to multiply the top as well by root 5 minus root 2. And it's like these are all in brackets. So once we do this, let's see what happens. So when I multiply, I'm going to multiply the square root of 3 times the square root of 5, and I'm going to get the square root of 15. Then I'm going to multiply the square root of 5 times the square root of 2, and I'm going to get minus root 6. On the bottom, because it's two binomials, I have to multiply the root 5 by everything in my second bracket, and I also have to multiply the root 2 by everything in my second bracket. So I get the square root of 25 minus the square root of 10, and then switching to the root 2, plus the square root of 10, and then finally minus the square root of 4. Now my final step, I need to reduce anything that I can reduce. Now root 15 and root 6 are fine, they can't be reduced. We know the square root of 25 is just 5. Root 10 and minus root 10 are going to cancel out, and the square root of 4 is just 2. So my numerator stays the same, but I can reduce my denominator to 5 minus 2, which is 3. I talked about the conjugate in the last expression. Now the conjugate of a plus b is just b minus, or a minus b. It's not exactly like the opposite. The opposite of a plus b would be negative a minus b, so it's only the middle term that changes. So a plus b becomes a minus b. So for example, if I have 5 minus root 2, my conjugate is going to be 5 plus root 2. Notice it's only the plus or the minus in the middle that changes. So using that, I'm going to do my last example. I've, my, I've got a denominator of 3 minus 2 root 6. I'm going to have to multiply this by 3 plus 2 root 6, which is the conjugate of 3 minus 2 root 6. 
Now here I've got four different binomials, so it's like all of these are in brackets, and I'm going to have to use the distributive property. So everything in my first term is going to get multiplied by my second term. So 3 root 2 times 3 is going to give me 9 root 2. 3 root 2 times 2 root 6 is going to give me 6 root 12. And I know that root 12 can be reduced, but I'm going to deal with it later. 6 times 3 is going to give me negative 18. And negative 6 times 2 root 6 is going to give me negative 12 root 6. Now I need to do the same thing to the bottom. 3 times 3 is going to give me 9. 3 times 2 root 6 is going to give me 6 root 6. 2 times root 6, or 2 root 6 times 3 is going to give me negative 6 root 6. And finally the last one. 2 root 6 times 2 root 6 is going to give me negative 4 root 36. So now I can start simplifying. When I simplify a 12, it's the same as root 4 times root 3. So root 4 is 2. My 9 root 2 is going to stay the same. My root, or root 4 is going to be multiplied into my 6. So root 4 is 2. 2 times 6 is going to be 12. And my root 3 is going to remain. I've got minus 18 and minus 12 root 6. On the bottom, my 9 is fine. I'm going to cancel out the positive root 6 and negative root 6. And we know that the root of 36 is just 6, so 4 times 6 is 24. In my final step, the top has already been simplified as much as it can. I have no common roots. The denominator I have to subtract, so I get negative 15. I could also change my negative 15 to positive and change all of the signs in my numerator. I'd get negative 9 root 2 minus 12 root 3 plus 18 plus 12 root 6 all over positive 15, which is what you will see occasionally to keep the denominator positive, which again sometimes makes our math just a little bit easier to do.